Hello everyone, in this short video we'll talk about ANOVA, the difference between one-way and two-way ANOVA, and how to do these tests in R. So ANOVA is short for Analysis of Variance. It compares the means of three or more group of data and it's used to study if there is a significant difference between three or more groups. And it assumes the data are normally distributed and have equal variance. If you want to know more about normal distribution and equal variance, check video 11.1 and 11.2. There are main two types of ANOVA, one-way ANOVA and two-way ANOVA. So let's start with one-way ANOVA, also known as single-factor ANOVA. It compares the means of three or more group considering one independent variable or factor. And we have to have three observations per group. For example, if we are screening for a cytotoxic drug, we are measuring the effect of three different drugs on cell viability. So we have only one factor, which is treatment, and we have four groups, three drugs and the control. Two-way ANOVA, Similar to one-way ANOVA, it compares the mean of three or more groups, but the difference is here we have two independent variables or factors. So similarly, here we are screening for cytotoxic drug and we are measuring the effect of three drugs and the incubation time on cell viability. So the factor one is treatment, so we have three drugs and control. We have four groups and factor two is treatment time. So we have 24 hours, 48 hours and 72 hours. So let's go now and see how we can use this test in R. So analysis of variance function can be used to compete both one-way and two-way ANOVA in R. So let's start first with one-way ANOVA. Here an exercise to illustrate how we use one-way ANOVA in R. It measures the effect of cadmium on growth of green algae. So here we have the concentration of the cadmium chloride and here we have algae counts. So let's go to R Studio and see how we can do that. So first what we need to do is we need to download the data and upload it into R. So first three step is downloading the data to the computer. Second, we need to use the read.csv function to read the file and assign it to ALGA data. So let's read the table and here is the table is ready. So before we move forward, let's look to, into the structure of our table. So if we look, we can see that both concentration and counts, they are numeric. So before we move forward, we need to remember that the independent variable should be factor. So in our case here, our independent variable is the concentration because it does not depend on the count. It's otherwise, count depends on the concentration. So we are using the analysis of variance function. And as a first argument, we will put the dependent variable, which is count. Then we will put the independent variable as a factor we will use as a factor function and the last argument is the where this data will come from so it will come from alga data as we assigned it earlier so let's do that now we need to use the summary function to look into the result so result shows that there is a significant so here is the p-value and the p-value is less than 0 0.001 so now we know there is a significant difference between the dosage but we don't know which one so we will use the toki multiple pairwise comparison to do that so let's run it and as a result here we can see that the difference and the adjusted p-value and we can see mostly they are significant there's this one is not significant and this one is not significant so let's move to two-way ANOVA we'll use this data to illustrate how we can use two-way ANOVA in R here we have two independent variables or two factors. We have the dose and the supplement type. So we have vitamin C and we have orange juice and we, the dose is 0.5, 1 and 2 milligram per day. And here is the tooth length of the pigs. So let's go to our studio and see how we can do this.
So again, as we did for one-way ANOVA, we are going to do similar things with two-way ANOVA. We are going to download the data, and upload it, and assign it to Big Data. So our table is ready. This is the length of the tooth. This is the supplement, vitamin C or orange juice, and this is the dosage. So we are going to use the analysis of ANOVA function to do two-way ANOVA. The difference between one-way ANOVA and two-way ANOVA is that we have in one-way ANOVA one independent variable and here we have two independent variables. Here we have the supplement and the dose and everything is same. So let's run this command and using the summary function we get the summary and we can see here both dose and supplement they have significant difference but still we don't know which one. So here we are going to use again the Toki multiple pairwise comparison. And here we are specifying we want the result for the doses. So we will run this command. And as we can see here, there is a significant difference in all of them. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.